Hey guys, so I still wanted to get a video up for you today, but I'm just going to be showing you the Rev GTS mod. Um, I've looked at the other Rev mods as well, but I'm not going to vape on it. I'm just going to show you like open it in the package, break it down, show you guys how to use it. The main reason being because I got new trays, I have invisible braces, and it hurts to just even talk <laughs> right now. So I'm like, I'm just gritting my teeth literally through this video. Because my whole face is like, this whole part of my face really freaking hurts. And two, it performs basically the exact same as all the other ones. It just has its own unique look. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about the Rev GTS. And I will be back tomorrow with a new flavor test video. Alright guys, here is the packaging that the Rev GTS comes in. I do have the red mod. It's available in green or blue or red for around $75. Now, like the previous two, it is made with the Venom chipset, only this one goes up to 230 watts, so from 5 to 230. You do have a user's manual, and it also has a Rev Vape full throttle rubber keychain. There was also a quality control card hidden inside my user's manual. And underneath the mod, there is this box, and this box has the micro USB to USB charge cable. So here is the mod itself. We have a giant screen. This is a textured back. We have the large pedal-like fire button, the plus and minus regulatory buttons, and the mode button with a micro USB charge port here at the bottom on the side. On the very bottom, we have some venting holes for the batteries, which you just need to take off this magnetic back. See the magnetic connections there? And put two 18650 batteries in here. You can see plus and minus for which direction they need to go. There are the battery contacts. So I have my two here that are actually red to match the mod. I'll go ahead and put them in and then stick the magnetic back back on. It does have a 510 connection at top that is stainless steel, spring loaded, and gold plated. This is made of a zinc alloy and aluminum alloy construction. It is 94 millimeters by 55 millimeters by 32 millimeters. Five clicks turns it on. Now it automatically went to this screen. Oh, and you can see here that it does time out to a clock and a seconds counter. So this is awesome. This is your seconds counter and this is the power level. You can see it goes from zero to 230. We have the power level and the power mode that you're in. The voltage, the amps, the ohms, which there is no atomizer on there, so it's not reading the ohms. A puffs counter and a battery life indicator for A and B, both batteries. So if we click the mode button, we know, just like the previous mods, it changes the color of the screen, and there are many different colors. Let's just go with a bright one that you guys can see good on screen. There we go. No, that one's better. If you press and hold the mode button, you go into your menu screen and you use the plus and minus buttons to switch through the different options, which are just the same as the first two that I looked at. There's the power TCR mode, bypass mode, preheat mode, color mode. You can change the dashboard display. So it's looking like there are two different dashboards here. I'm going to factory reset it, and when you do factory reset it, make sure you don't have an atomizer on here. Like I said earlier, it goes from 5 to 230 watts, or 0 to 8.5 volts. The best resistance range to have on here is no lower than 0 0.08 and no higher than 3 ohms. So if you click the power mode TCR option, it does show you it has stainless steel, titanium, nickel 200, or TCR mode or power mode and you can select between either one of those. So say we select a temperature mode, then it gives us the coil type for stainless steel because these are all the ones that it supports. And then we can pick between Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm a Fahrenheit user. 
and there you go. So it basically functions exactly like the previous mods. It does just have its own unique look and of course out of all three of the Rev mods I've looked at, it does go up to the highest amount of wattage. What I'd like to know is which Rev mod do you guys think is the coolest down in the comments below? I think they all are pretty unique. Mine personally is probably going to be the Nitro version since it looks so much like a dashboard to me. I will leave a link below to where you can check these out but that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how to fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, my mouth hurts so bad. These new trays are so dicey.